So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 4.26's groom uh, hair settings once again. Now, I know I already made a video before, but that was a kind of like a quick video. But today, what I'm going to do is actually add some animations, like dancing animations, to the character instead of just moving it around. And additionally, I'm going to show you how to bind it to a skeletal mesh. Now, with the hair right now, I'm telling you, is not working i think it's just it's because of the hair but um i'm gonna go ahead and show you just in case if you have some groom hair lying around but with that being said uh some good news there is finally uh some hair asset you can get from the marketplace right here it's called hair for days now this is as far as i know the very first groom hair asset you can buy in the marketplace so if you want to check it out, go ahead, and if you want to follow along. So, like I said, this is the very first one that was uploaded last month. It comes with five different hairs. Groom hair, that is. That's very important. It has to be a groom hair. So, you can see right here, separate grooms. So, uh, yeah, that's that. We're going to be using that one. We're also going to be using... Let's go back to my library. We're going to be using a dance mocap collection that I also got from the marketplace. So uh, I went ahead and uploaded that to our project. And speaking of our project, I am using the train project that was free about a couple of months ago. Like I said before in previous videos. So that's what we have. Now the character here is the character we created in Relusion Character Creator 3. So if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and check it out. I also showed you how you can import this character from Relusion iClone to Unreal Engine 4. So everything that you've seen here I've done in the past before. So go ahead and check those out so you're not lost and pretty much trying to figure out how to get this character in here. First thing you need to do is actually enable the plugin Groom. So right here, if you type in G-R-O-M, I already have it enabled. So you can see enable both pretty much click both enabled and then go ahead and restart your uh, Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so looking at our project here, you're gonna see we have the CC shaders, which is the character creator shaders. We have the hair for days, which I showed you guys. And then we have the Moco motion, which is the dance motion. All right, and then the train yard, obviously. And then RL content is Relusion content as well. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and put some hair on that head. So go hair for days, let's go hair. Now you have a couple here like I showed you. We're going to go with something crazy. Let's do the curly hair for now. And what I'm going to do is show you the attached to head method. All right. And then what I'm going to do is show you the, I just controlled Z. And I'm going to show you the uh, skeletal mesh as well. So it's kind of hard to determine where the head is. So let's go ahead. I think it's that, I think that's correct. But we'll have to see really. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, but we have to rotate it. Oh, not that way. And what's cool about it, I'm just control z in here, guys. Nothing magical or anything like that. Uh, what's cool about it is you can actually see that physics is actually already uh, applied. So negative 90. And to be honest, with that much hair, it's not killing my FPSs as much. I mean, it still is. So you can see that 50. So let's go ahead and move this down. And then I'm going to move this kind of like right there. And you can change the settings of this hair. All right. So it looks kind of crazy. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I might have edited this earlier uh, over here. So this is, oh yeah. So I'm going to go five, five. I changed this earlier because I was messing around with it. So um, I think that's the only thing I switched. So let's press save. And minimize okay so there you go that's what it's supposed to look like so you can at least see what I did there and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, untick that so go ahead and line this up here now I'm using this hair because I, I want you to see how well it works so much better than 4.25 I mean obviously the shape is not gonna match because this hair was not made specifically for this head but we're just no ballpark it like that okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the name of this hair to cc i'm going to add cc in front of it underscore and you're going to see why in a second so if i go back to my world outliner now i just put that hair right below the character's name see cc base is the name of our character and i put cc female curly hair right below that so that will make it easier for us to just drag and drop it to the base and then type head 
And now, whenever you move CC base, the hair is now going to move with it. So it's cool. That's kind of like the first method I'm showing you. All right? So now what we're going to do next is load some animations that we got from the marketplace. All right, so let's go back to our content. We're going to go back to our Moro motion. We're going to go to animations, and we're just going to pick one. Um, we won't do that one because I think that's copyrighted. Let's do this one right here, okay? And what we're going to take a look at, see how this skeleton is set up. So I'm going to go to retarget animation. You're going to see that the skeleton is actually posed like this. If I go to our CC skeleton, you're going to see that it's a different pose. So we have to change it to look like this. It's a T pose. This is an A pose. So exit out. Okay, so click on our character here. We're going to go to the skeletal mesh. We're going to go to the skeleton. And then we're going to go look at this view post right here at the bottom, toggle view. And you're going to see that it is an A post. Now we just have to change that. So I'm going to go to the skeleton tree, grab the arm, and we're just going to do something real quick. Now when you're doing retargeting like this, you want it to look exactly like what you're retargeting to. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to make it close enough. As you can see, the shoulders are kind of jacked up there, but that's okay. All right, and the camera is so fast by default. I wish there was like a keyboard shortcut to slow that down. So we kind of match that now. And what you're gonna do is go back to the retarget manager, modify post, use current post. Save it, exit out. And now when we retarget, right click, retarget anim assets, duplicate anim asset and retarget, you're gonna see, well, it's above this. I'm not sure why it's showing up like that, but. So you can see we are in T pose as well right here. Now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to type, I'm going to title it anim, animus. And then we're just going to go ahead and retarget. All right. So what that did is now that animation that we just downloaded is now retargeted to this skeleton. So we can now apply that animation to this skeleton. So go to the skeleton again, CC base change the animation mode from animation blueprint to asset and then find that asset you should now have one and now there you go so you can see the hair is moving properly with the dance moves without any issues that is so cool and it's pretty fast i mean i'm running at 60 frames per second here and that is a lot of hair okay obviously her foot is going through the rails but that's okay all right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that right now. So I'm going to go back to CC base, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. So what we'll do next is just pick a different hair. So I can kind of show you pretty much all the different hairs. So what I'm going to do is just remove female curly hair for now. And we're going to go back here. Let's do female long hair clipped. Drag and drop it to your scene. It's going to compute. The guides and weights okay and it's loading still all right so let's go ahead and move it up same exact thing this is a lot shorter for sure and it is kind of hard to see okay so i see it now just line it up to the head it's pretty nice i didn't even have to resize that one so i think it's negative 90 yeah, this is a lot shorter. And take it down. Yeah, that fits perfectly, man. That that whoever made that hair did a really good job at fitting it its standard skull. That don't look too bad at all. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna rename this to CC female. CC dash. Click out. Okay. It's right there. Now, depending on your hair groom asset, you can change the length of it, but with this specific one, I can't get it to work. Uh, you can change the width, though. There you go. You can change the width, so you can play around with it a little bit more, but I think that just broke it. It looks kind of blocky, so let's bring it back to 0.5. Uh, but yeah, just depending on the hairs made, you can customize it a little bit more. And like I said earlier, if you want to go ahead and change the physics of it, you can go to the uh, hair itself and you can change all that stuff right here. You know, you can change how stiff it is and how, you know, 
resistant it is to motion and all that stuff. Okay, so same thing we did. Go to CC and then we're going to do head. And then I'm going to show you the method now on how to put this on a sequencer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new cinematics add level sequence. Let's name it dance. We're going to click CC base. We're going to track actor add CC base. I'm going to change this to 24 frames per second. And then we're going to go to the uh, animation. And now we should see animation slow rhythm dance. And then when we press play, there you go. Pretty impressive. This is actually really good. Now, the timeline is a lot shorter than the dance, so we can just extend that. Extend that to the left. Man, Unreal Engine is so, uh, it's so amazing. There's just, there's just a couple of stuff that I'm kind of still waiting on that they can make better. And one of them is actually the motion capture facial. Uh, but, man, it, it is such a great program. There you go. See, it sticks in there. Now, obviously, it's not moving that much because it is a pretty short hair. So let's try and zoom in in there just to even see if it is moving. It looks like it is. Yeah, it's moving a little bit. I mean, and if I grab this character and I swing it around, yeah, you can see that. You can see that hair is moving there. So that's the sequencer method. And then from there, you can actually just export this into a movie by using the uh, export button right here. Render this to a movie sequence, and you're good to go. Add some music in it in post-production and NLE, and then you have your CG, uh, CGI uh, dancing thing, you know, obviously with lighting and all that stuff. Yeah, you can add later on as well. Uh, but now what I'm going to show you is the bind to skeletal mesh method. And like I said, with this groom assets, I couldn't get it to work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that female head, uh, hair, and then I'm going to go with the male curly. I'm going to right click, and it's so dumb, it took me a minute to find this because they did change it from 4.25 to 4.26. All you actually do is create binding, and then what you're going to do is cl click a CC base again, create, save it, close it, go to your skeletal mesh, Go ahead and go to add component, type groom, okay? And then you're going to grab the binding asset, drag it and drop it there, and then you're going to find the, the groom asset and drag it and drop it there. Now, you see the problem already. The hair asset is split. You see that? And what I'm going to do is actually re remove that animation so you can see it. So in the beginning, it's not, okay? Without any animation, it looks fine. But, and I'm going to go ahead and click room, and that's how you can kind of move it by itself. So I'm not sure if this is just the hair assets, or is it really the bind to skeletal method? I don't think it's broken. I don't think the bind to skeletal is broken. It's just the hair that you got from the marketplace. That's broke. I have no idea what this is supposed to look like. Oh, we, oh okay, we have it. We kind of have it the other way around. So let's go ahead and uh, rotate it. Kind of like, there, there you go. So that's, I believe, yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like. Um, so, you know, I just don't know if it's just this hair. Oh, sorry. You have to click groom and then move the hair around. Um, that's kind of high there. Okay, right there. Pretty good. And if you want to change the collision on your character, you can click on her, double click the skeletal mesh again on the right, and you can change the physics right here. And you can move, this is the collision that you can change around if you want to change the way uh, it affects the collision on your character. That's how you do it, okay? With that being said, check, check this out. This is what happens with this specific hair assets. If I go to that animation, it splits it in half, which looks kind of cool, but not really. So I got to figure out what's going on here. I got to figure out if it's the assets themselves or is it the way I'm doing things. But this is supposed to work because this is how I was able to do it before. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely look this up. So right now, the only way I can do it is the first method that I showed you. But if you know how to fix this, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something new today. And make sure you like this video and subscribe so we can get some more going.